Right now, it's not only hot, but it's also hazy out there. Saharan dust is to blame for that. And while it keeps the tropics at bay, it can certainly stir up some health problems for us. Local Times' Christina Vasquez is live in Miami with what you need to know. Christina. The next opportunity you have to walk outside, look up and realize that about a mile overhead is a layer of this dry dust. In part, it's what's causing some beautiful sunrise and sunsets and also some health problems for those that suffer from respiratory issues. Look how hazy it is. Like clockwork. They start coming off in June and we're at the peak right now. Uh, so it's pretty normal. And every three to five days or so, we'll see a new outbreak coming across the Atlantic from Africa. When plumes of Sahara dust drift across the Atlantic Ocean to South Florida. The dust is a very good forward scatterer. So light that's coming at the viewers hits that dust and gets scattered in all directions. It is what can generate beautiful sunrises and sunsets. There's also very strong winds that can rip the clouds apart. And then there's also a lot of dust that absorbs the sun and makes it warm. And, and all of these things can work against cloud formation and even hurricanes. Can inhibit the formation of thunderstorms that fuel hurricanes. So it's kind of the worst of both worlds as far as South Florida weather. You have still very soupy and hot at the surface, and you don't get those nice thunderstorms in the afternoon that tend to form over places like the Everglades that can cool off the afternoon temperature and create an air quality health risk, especially for those who suffer from asthma and allergies. Just like uh, pollen season or certain uh, seasons where patients are affected by the temperature changes or the humidity changes, this is sort of its own season now, especially for asthma and for patients with COPD. Make sure the medications are up to date, make sure they have a safety plan, make sure that your inhalers, if you're on inhalers, are ready and not expired. He says especially great advice for parents of children who may be at summer camps that are outdoors. That NOAA University of Miami researcher you heard from, he was actually spending uh, later on this week. They're actually going to be going to Barbados to continue their study on how the dry, dusty air in our atmosphere there about a mile up impacts the formation of hurricanes. So still a lot of research to be done in that space. And he offered a fun fact to me that I will share with you. He says right now, all the dust in our atmosphere that what's creating that haze is actually dust that 10 to 12 days ago left Africa. So it gives you a sense of how much distance in time it traveled to be here. This season ramps down, he says, about mid-August. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.